I feel like it's just who we who we are, what we were meant to do. Whether yeah. we kind of to entertain, we kind of call it like the the never ending story. Yeah. Darcy and Stacy were once some of the biggest stars to come out of Night A Fiance until everything came crashing down when their show went off the air, and no one knows why. And until now, you'll never believe what's going on with these two. Ever since Darcy first appeared on season one of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days, way back in 2017, all of us fans of TLC franchise pretty much knew from the start that she wouldn't be a one-season girl. And because of the insane amount of drama and interest the fans raved about from Darcy being on the show, it wasn't long before the network decided to take the good chance that they could have another hit by bringing in Darcy's identical twin sister, Stacy, in for a spinoff, which was obviously, you know, named Darcy and Stacy and aired in 2020, and Darcy had a few appearances on before the 90 days when Darcy was going through her relationships with Jesse and Tom. And you guys will all remember the crazy relationship that was Darcy and Jesse. The two met up in person after only talking online, and a ton of fans were really shocked that Jesse turned out to actually be the gorgeous model from his pictures. But on the other hand, Darcy, as she is known to do, had to put, you know, so many filters on her pictures to make herself look much younger. And even though Jesse knew her age, he still made a comment that he you know, thought she would have looked different, and things between Darcy and Jesse obviously didn't take long to start to go sour, and small fights turned into big fights, and it all went downhill from there, but not without giving viewers plenty of drama to take in, and one thing that reality TV fans can't get enough of is watching a relationship that they know is definitely not going to last, and Darcy and Jesse absolutely filled that role. The first sign of trouble came when the two rented a couple of bikes because Jesse, as he made it perfectly clear to Darcy in their conversations before, is a very active person who loves to adventure, and I don't know the impression that Darcy gave him, but I'm guessing that it wasn't that she wouldn't even be able to enjoy a simple bike ride through a park, and everyone cringed as she kept screaming and yelling like a little girl who couldn't ride a bike, and Jesse's frustration was extremely clear to viewers, and another problem the couple had early on was with Darcy's drinking, and she would get obviously drunk and would act immature like a teenager at a house party, which really annoyed Jesse, and later on in that first season, and Jesse sat Darcy down and told her that there was something in his past that, you know, made him absolutely hate when people get drunk, and she, of course, broke down and said that she would stop drinking to save the relationship, and when Jesse came to the U.S., things only got worse when he met Darcy's two daughters and her twin sister, Stacy, and Stacy was questioning Jesse's intentions from the get-go and seemed to, you know, want to plant doubts in Darcy's head, which, as you guys will see, is something that she still does to Darcy, and the two finally split in a super dramatic breakup, but it didn't take Darcy long to move on to Tom Brooks, another man from another country, and Stacy's meddling in Darcy's relationships continued with Tom, which meant more drama for fans to eat right up, and I still want to know what was in that letter that Tom hand-delivered to Darcy after their breakup. Yeah, the one that Stacy helped her convince in order to tear it up and throw it away without even opening it. And while Darcy was featured on the first four seasons of Before the 90 Days, she and Stacy made the quick jump to their own spin-off series, Darcy and Stacy. Stacey, and it just goes to show that people will never get tired of watching identical twins, I guess, because TLC knew that the Silva twins would give their viewers great entertainment after seeing how involved they are in each other's lives um, before the 90 days, and they were not wrong. Both twins apparently have a type, not just for men from other countries, but also younger men, and Darcy and Stacy, you know, were born in September of 1974, and while their partners, aside from Tom, that we have seen have been at least a decade younger than them, and Stacy's now husband Florian is actually the youngest of them all being born just in 1994 and Jesse's not far behind him being born in 1992. And so while the twins are closing in on 50, these two haven't even reached 30 yet. And Tom's been the closest in age, being 42 as of 2022. But that didn't stop Darcy from moving on to yet another younger man with Georgie, who has been her main partner through the first three seasons of the spinoff. And the roller coaster of Georgie and Darcy's relationship was a big focus of the show because it took up most of the screen time with her drama, and Stacy and Flory were never far behind them. So Georgie is from Bulgaria and met Darcy online, where the two started talking and ended up meeting in person at the 2020 Super Bowl, and she posted on social media saying that, you know, he was the love of her life, which made longtime fans roll their eyes and say, classic Darcy, and Stacy's relationship is also with a man she met from another country, and although the two actually met in person while she was traveling abroad, Florian is from Albania, and after a five-year engagement, they finally got married. Married in April of 2020, 
and something that fans picked up on after the spinoff started was just how much influence Stacy had on Darcy's love life and began to question whether she actually wanted to help her sister find a forever partner, and when Darcy and Georgie would get into fights, Stacy always seemed to egg Darcy on to start more drama or focus on something else Georgie had done in the past that had upset her. And one thing that kept coming up over and over with Georgie was that he was still married to his ex, Octavia, but it was just on paper. And even after Georgie officially filed for divorce, neither twin would let him forget that he had waited so long. And Darcy and Georgie were engaged twice, but the relationship was completely over when it got back to Darcy that Georgie had reached out to Jesse to talk about her, which fans got to see towards the end of the third season, but can you guess how this information got back to Darcy? Once Florian found out, he quickly told Stacy, who took that as a chance to stir up some drama between Darcy and Georgie, which he appears to love doing. And from the fan theories and internet discussions, everything, you know, even going back way to before the 90 days, comes back to Stacy's butting into other people's business. And viewers have made comments about how miserable Florian always seems to be, both in his relationship with Stacy and just having to be on reality TV all the time. And Darcy is super easy to convince when she's trying to make decisions. She even stated that the reason she wanted to end things with Georgie was because of how she saw their relationship from the TV show perspective and how other people viewed it. And this makes Stacy's plots that much easier. And many fans think that she's always been jealous of Darcy, which is why whenever she seems happy, Stacy swoops in and plants doubts into her head. And some have even noted how Stacy looks happy when Darcy's in the middle of a freakout that she started because she can only be happy if Darcy is miserable and alone, and viewers also never fail to poke fun at the insane amount of plastic surgery both of the twins got, and how they look different every time they appear. And along with their super bleached blonde hair, they seem to almost be addicted to getting any form of plastic surgery, and according to reports, just some of the surgeries the twins have gotten in the past few years include one to elongate their eyes, called fox eye surgery, multiple nose jobs, cheek, and other lifts, if you know what I mean, and multiple other removals. And having all these different procedures is also called the Barbie touch-up. And it's no secret that the twins will almost do anything to appear younger than they are. And some have commented that Darcy is always one hard cough away from a wardrobe malfunction. And we still don't know if we'll get to see more of Darcy and Stacy though. TLC released a list of upcoming seasons and the show wasn't on it. But one thing's for sure, fans will keep following the twins to see their latest body changes, crazy outfits, and even crazier relationships. But do you think Darcy will ever find love? with Stacy always around and do you think Stacy and Florian will last guys let me know what you think in the comments below and like always do me a huge favorite that like follow share subscribe button and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos